What is up, Leisure Martians? Welcome to my channel. This is Rohit Rana. You're watching Leisure Martini, and today I am going to review the Tamil film, the Tamil boxing film, Sarpatta Parampari, which stars uh, Arya Pasupati uh, as the two leading uh, characters, two leading actors, uh, and apart from them, there is John Cukain, uh, Dushara Vijayan, and many other stars. So let's quickly read uh, what the film is about. Uh, when Sarpatta Parambrai is challenged to a do or die match, will Kabilan, a young laborer, put on the gloves himself and lead his clan to victory, or be dissuaded by his disapproving mother and dangerous politics? Uh, I think, as is apparent from uh, the synopsis, uh, this is not just a sports film. Uh, this there is a lot going on in this film. There's a lot of politics and there's a lot of uh, family drama. Uh, even though, even though it, uh, our our star Arya or uh, uh, Kabilan, his his life is all about boxing. That's what he has always wanted wanted to do. But there are enough distractions, uh, some that uh, are not that that are beyond his control, and some that he falls prey to. You know, uh, he gets distracted and. Uh, in a way he does not have any option but then he also has options but then things things spur a lot of control uh, he could pull back but he chooses not to but that's that's way ahead in the plot so how the movie starts is basically if you have seen the film uh, i will not go through the entire plot if, especially if you have not seen the film uh, i will not reveal important plot points basically this is a guy a young uh, man a young laborer uh who belongs to this uh, clan uh and there is this rivalry uh, going on between two clans uh, the coach of this clan and the coach of the other clan they were uh, themselves boxers uh, when they were young and uh, the coach of the sarpatta clan had defeated the coach of that clan after which that the other coach had uh, retired uh, from boxing and now they are taking forward this uh, this rivalry by uh, teaching others by coaching their uh, their people uh, the the other people of their clan and uh, uh long story short uh, uh, sarpatta clan has not won this championship so to speak in many many years because uh, their rival clan has a boxer who goes by the name of vembuli who is impossible to beat uh they have come up with all the different kinds of boxers different shapes sizes uh they have such an amazing coach in rangan played by pasupati but they just cannot defeat uh, uh vembuli the story of our hero is he's not allowed to box his mother does not want him to box and because of his mother uh, the coach does not want him to be around the coach does not even want him to be around because of something that happened in the past which is why his mother does not want him to be in the ring or to even hang out with these people and uh, even though rangan tries his best to keep him uh, away but then uh, this guy loves boxing too much he is too loyal to his to his clan uh, there are concerns uh, of his mother that he will also follow his dad's footsteps if he also becomes a boxer so does that happen uh, and if that happens does he meet the same fate as his dad that's that's what the story is about wow this was a highly ambitious film and this film has heavy themes uh, like i said it's not just about who will beat who will the hero be triumphant will uh, good win versus evil there is there is uh, there are no clear uh, demarcations i'll start with the boxing action the boxing action is great technically speaking it's not that amazing but then these are not international boxers these these are not even national level boxers they represent their clan in a small uh, in a small political environment they are not international boxers so you you won't get to see the kind of technical boxing that you have seen in other boxing films you know they have their own strategies they they, uh, they there is enough footwork there is enough thinking going on before the match during the match it's still very raw it's still very uh, impactful you you feel those punches there is nothing heroic about the film uh, for for the most part and then we come to acting arya this is my first film uh, with this guy i don't know how big 
for star arya is uh, in the tamil film industry but i think he uh, uh, performed his role exceptionally well he got into the skin of the character It does not matter what kind of a moment uh, he was portraying what what kind of an emotion he was portraying in a particular scene whether he was with his wife whether he was happy with his, his wife or whether he was portraying helplessness uh, with his wife or with his mother or he was being this uh, hot dude uh, who cannot go wrong in the ring who's beating up other boxers or he's getting beaten up by other boxers so or when he's with his other dude friends and they are doing mata gasti so he was in the moment i never felt that this guy is uncomfortable he's, he's he's only comfortable with one aspect or two aspects of his role i thought every shade that we saw of this guy of uh, kabilan arya performed all those shades immaculately uh, i i did not find anything wrong with his performance so goes uh, for paspati who i think maybe he's a legend i've seen him before but i can't recall where who played coach uh, rangan and everybody else uh, john cokan as wembley was great dushara as uh, mariamma was great uh, the woman who uh, played mother to uh, kabilan she was good every actor's performance was spot on the, the guy who played i think raman i really really liked his performance as well uh then john vijay as daddy was good so uh, and in in terms of the performances uh, there was no let down uh if there are any cons in the film it's the predictability you still kind of predict what's going to happen and uh, after a certain fight takes place half way through the film the film takes a wild turn it suddenly becomes another film Uh, and uh, i i thought that okay maybe it's not going to get back to boxing now and i did not complain i was i was like okay the first half was all boxing and the second half is how this guy has uh, totally uh, lost his lost his way and now he's in neck deep into you know uh, spoilers ahead he's neck deep into crime and now it will be a story of how his world has changed and how like will he survive and maybe is the story of his fall that's what i thought but then it goes back to boxing uh, all of a sudden uh, as soon as his coach is released from the jail i thought that was a bit uh, uh, a bit convenient like as soon as his uh, coach is released suddenly everything falls in order he was addicted to alcohol he was addicted to his life he was earning mad money as uh, this gangster suddenly he leaves all of it just because his coach is back and suddenly he has the, the love for his clan the love for the honor uh, that comes through boxing is back i don't know why why did he lose that honor in the first place because his coach does not want him to box again it's not like the his coach comes back from jail and he convinces him to get back on his feet so i thought that was a bit bit inconsistent i did not find enough motivation for him to uh go back to his boxing ways uh, like he had his reasons to turn into a criminal and i did not find uh, uh, anything motivating enough for him to go back there was no trigger as such i there, nothing nothing eventful happened sure that that scene happened where uh, he was almost killed because he was too drunk i was not convinced when I mean, he he managed to survive whatever that was that attack if if it was so easy for him to get back on track then why did he lose track in the first place there was nothing nothing big happens you know it's it's kind of convenient in that case uh, okay the coach is back now now this guy's life will be back on track no not 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 very con- convincing the film goes back into that 70s era i thought this cinematography and the attention to detail was amazing i was truly transported it was pretty authentic all the 70s style sets the clothes uh, the whole uh, the, the the whole vibe of the film uh, looked very authentic uh, right from the get go right from the first scene on it reminded me of the films from 70s and that was that was great that was i was impressed right at the outset with that uh, uh, and uh, the politics uh, the, his his rivalries especially his rivalry with with ramans uh, dad uh, all the consequences that he has to face the every uh, single aspect of his life gets screwed because of that one person because of that one 
uh, enmity that he has with this one person that that is the root cause of all the problems in his life uh, and it is it's interesting to uh, you know to see that uh, through the course of the film because the other actor the the the, the person who played uh, raman's father i cannot find his name i think he, he was amazing he was pretty natural and you hated him uh, if whenever he shows up on the screen i i hated him uh his his character and that is testament to the amazing performance that 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 actor gave so uh, so this equation between uh, our guy uh, you know uh, played by arya kabilan and uh, and this uh, and roman's father was uh, was great their equation their hate for each other was uh, was very visceral and you felt it uh, Uh, so yeah, all in all, I had a very good time. It was a three-hour-long movie, but uh, those were, these were three hours spent very well. A kind of a different, unique, uh, like a sort of a different sports film, even though predictable, but still it had enough uh, uniqueness to it because of all the other elements in the film. You know, the seventies era and the 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 politics, politics and all the family drama and all. Uh, if I had to rate this film uh, out of ten, I would say. Uh, I would rate it eight point three out of ten, or eighty three out of hundred. That would be my score, uh, and I am so happy I watched this film. This is one of the few Tamil films I have watched. I think the last film I watched was Vikram, and I am uh, thank you so much for recommending this film. I have been hearing about this film from quite a while, but I finally got to watch it uh, on Prime, and uh, yeah. and uh, uh, i have not talked about the director ranjit uh, is the director it's written by tamiz prabha and ranjit himself uh, great job as the writer director again tamiz by tamiz as well uh, like i have explained the the uh, how they have um, the juxtaposition of politics sports 70s era is on point and uh, that's all credit goes to uh, p a ranjit and the other writer and the cinematographers so uh, yeah thank you so much for uh, recommending this film thank you so much for watching this review and let me know in the comment section what you think what you think of the film and what do you think of the review do you agree or not uh, yeah i'll see you in the comments box then thank you